everyone, Emma here. I hope you're all well. Um, I thought I would make a quick video um, because I've had a few people asking me how did I do the heart effect for this um, Bible journaling entry I shared yesterday for our hashtag celebrate love um, Bible journaling reading plan. Um, so I absolutely love creating these backgrounds so I thought the best way to show you would be to make this video um, and I think they are brilliant because if you're like me and you don't like covering your words up in your Bible you like to be able to still see them and read them this effect is a really great way to um, obviously be able to create a nice background and still be able to see your words um, to read um, so let's get to it. I am going to show you how to do this um, background um, on some bits of paper because obviously I don't want to re-add the heart into my Bible at this time. But So I'm just going to move my Bible to the side. So all I simply did was, is obviously I printed a heart shape off the computer you can hand draw one as well if you like and I simply just cut it out like so obviously to go with the design I did in the Bible that you just saw I um, did the heart background first and then I drew in the cross with a watercolored pencil but let's show you how we make this lovely heart effect. So simply what you would do is you would cut out your shape you wanted, so the heart, and we would put it on a bit of paper ready. Um, I've also done a cross to show you, and I will show you that in a minute. So let's take the heart. So all you would simply do is, obviously as I said, cut it out, um, and I use some inscribed pastels. Um, I like using my pastels to create my backgrounds, but you could maybe use watercolored um, paints. You could maybe try flicking paints all around it. It's totally up to you. Have a play around and see what you might like to use. Um, there is no wrong or right way. So what I am simply do is taking my heart, I will hold it down on the page and I will take the red pastel and I will simply do some little strokes around the edge of the heart like so and when I'm happy Super. So what you do then is keeping obviously the heart in place, taking some tissue, just simply rub the chalks out like so. And obviously depending on how far you want your chalk strokes to go to how much pastel you would apply. See I want to try and reach out over all this page so I did quite big bits of chalking and once you're happy that that's blended out enough you just simply lift the heart away and as you can see you're left with a really really beautiful heart effect now I'm not going to obviously chuck that away or anything I will maybe keep that and turn it into a tip in to add into my bible at a later date so let's move that to the side and carry on. So taking the cross now, what I do is if I am doing a um, an effect like this that's got a bit of a, a thinner design, I do take some trusted blue tack and put onto the back and I will fix it to my page so I'm not having to worry about it wobbling about and me letting it go. So let me just pop that pastel back and give my little fingers a wipe because they're a bit red. And I'm going to use some different colours for this one. I'm going to use some blues. So I'm going to use multicoloured 
and so what I'm going to do is simply this time I'm taking my small side and I am just going to go all over like so, let's turn it around. And I'm going to take a lighter blue. And then I'm going to take a bit of a darker blue. And I've just obviously, as you've seen, simply just done little strokes all the way around my cross shape. And then again, I will take some tissue and I will smooth out the blue colour. I'm quite happy with that and then again I would simply obviously be very careful um, obviously if it's in your Bible be very gentle because you don't want to rip the pages and peel this off and then again you are left with a really really nice effect and um, background so I'm just going to bring my Bible back um, first again let me just give my little fingers away because I don't want to get chalk all over my Bible and I'm just going to show you Obviously, it's they. You can do loads of different effects. You can maybe use some flower shapes and um, butterfly shapes. I mean, anything you really want to experiment with to create backgrounds like this. And you can also, I have marked a page to show you, use words. Um, like here, I did the word um, love like this. Um, obviously it's not too good because you can see my journaling entry through the other page um, or from the other side of the page so but it doesn't matter um, but yes I did the same sort of um, technique using obviously the letters to spell love here and obviously I blue tacked them to the page and I used a range of different pinks and a bit of blue all over the page rubbed it in and then obviously peeled away the um, paper for the word and then what I did is took a pencil and um, outlined the words um, so they really really stood out um, so that's another way you can use this technique by using some words um, with it so anyway hopefully that has inspired and encouraged some of you and shown some of you a um, maybe a new technique that you can enjoy using in your bible um obviously as always um if you create something um from what you've seen me share i would absolutely love to see your pictures um, obviously you can share your pictures with me in the Bless It Forward um, community group on Facebook where you can find the links in the description. Um, we would love to see you. Um, it's a really lovely group full of amazing people who just bless me with all they share and then they just really encourage and inspire me. So we would like to um, welcome you as well. Um, so I will say goodbye for now and um, hopefully speak to you again soon. Bye everybody.